Hi everyone, welcome to demo of the new Pentubo update 1.1. After having received multiple requests for one particular feature, I am happy to announce that Pentubo now supports AUV3 audio units on iOS. This means that Pentubo can now be used as a plugin within an audio unit host. This allows you to open multiple instances of Pentubo, to wire each instance with a different instrument and to save and recall the parameters as part of a whole session. Here I fired up Cubasis 2 and now you can open an instance of Pentubo within the host by selecting Pentubo in the MIDI effect section. Please note that Pentubo is a pure MIDI processor and will only work with hosts that have a solid support for the respective AOMI audio unit standard. The new user interface is more compact than the one of the standalone version. That's because within a host, typically, there is less screen area for the plugin. The main interface only shows the most essential information. The current controller values, small green dots that indicate if a particular controller is activated, and two buttons for settings and help. The only parameter that is adjustable here is the pencil orientation offset. It sets the zero reference point for a pencil angle as seen from the top. This should be readily adjustable as you might need to change it, for example, if you move your chair. If you press the settings button, you get access to the complete set of parameters. The standalone version and the audio unit version are identical in that respect. And they also share the same Boeing engine, so the look is a bit different, but the feel is the same. Let's now fire up AUM, another popular audio unit host. I loaded a session where I connected Pentubo to the FreeSynth primer. Now I can control the cutoff by pencil velocity, the LFO by pencil force, and the resonance by pencil tilt. If you want to know how such a wiring is achieved, please watch the Rosetta YouTube video that I listed in the video description. Here is the synth. And here's Pentubo. So let's play something. I have tested Pentubo extensively with Cubasis 2 and AUM. However, there is a lot of heterogeneity among the different hosts today. Therefore, Pentubo is not guaranteed to run within every host that claims to have support for MIDI audio units. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know your thoughts on the update in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.